Hey guys, I'm going to be playing Life is Strange. Um, I've seen some gameplay of it, but I've tried to stay away from it just so I can play it myself and record. Um, this is going to be my first Let's Play, so kind of nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Let's jump in. I'm feeling warm already. Like, I'm nervous. Out. Oh, the rain! That's so silly. Let's not focus on the rain. Wow, girl, I'm just where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Oh, she's yeah. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. I don't know, there's lightning. I wouldn't want to go to a lighthouse. I'd just be asking for trouble. Oh. No, not this way. Let's go! Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> the tornado. Hurricane. I'm not sure what of the definition of a tornado or a... Let's just forget about it. Holy shit! Oh. Country. No, I know this girl messes a lot. Was so surreal. Mostly called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. What? There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Psh. It's fine. It'd be cooler if there was a bit of symmetry with these lights, but, you know. Hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture. I can't believe right? I still have this uh, pencil frankly, case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. What is that thing? But I like it old school. Seriously though, Chubby. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month, best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Things are warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters of scary movies yet. Soon, Kate. Let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. <laughs> Is that a, it's that or a vortex club stroke fest swimming party? Or is that back stroke fest? So punny, facts. I don't get it. 
At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me, I'm on a loop. You have all the time in the world. Morning. Oh, there's so much to read. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. Even though I've never been to one, but who cares? The guy got into Blackwell Academy, a unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my ball speed up. This is cool because I've never seen out of the less plays that I've seen, or that I started to see, I've never seen anyone read through this, so. I'm sorry if you guys don't want to listen, but I'm going to read just so I know what's going on. I thought I, I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. When was this? July 10th. Then August 18th. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest. Back in a town, I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her when we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods. It seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. Seeking. Okay, that's right. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au uh, contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus there will be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. Oh dear. It's dear. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th. <sighs> Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room, though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all of my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed thinking about that is when i get scared but excited and then and then i don't feel like crying at all i get tingles down my arm sensing the universe opening up for me i can't wait to leave i just want things to be different at blackwell september 2nd my first entry from my new dorm room, the night before the first day at Blackwell. Whew. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. 
dude, I suck at remembering names too. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn, the day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm not, I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke Taylor, Kate Brooke Taylor Alyssa, <laughs> and how I could forget Victoria Chase, rich, stylish, titled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Hug. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back, call the whambulance, I don't want this day to end. Aw, oh, whoa, it's Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, of at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jeffer uh, gosh. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Uh, there's more to tell, but journal forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. So am I. I can't read so much. September 4th. I have an assload of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham. Graham. And he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. <laughs> he comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. <laughs> we talked about phot photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. Is that cliche? No, it's not, is it? No, it's not. Okay. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought, is she 18? I didn't think, I thought she was younger. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned a us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. It's easy to do homework when it's something that you're actually interested in. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my gosh, I want to marry him. Just joking, this one this one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. <laughs> Put Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday, during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't even say, didn't say Jack. Oh, I'd hate to have a classmate like that. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly, of the silly elite Vortex Club. That puts on popular parties and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama game. No more. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus day. A perfect blue sky day. 
I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off speaking of pictures. Oh gosh, I need to read the periods. I always feel I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes Photo Contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photo phot photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even not understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? And then we read this. Favorite month. Blah, blah. Okay this oh she has pictures here of the people she knows my name is Max Caulfield and ever since I was a little kid I knew I wanted to be a photographer I've always seen the world through my own lens finder maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world but at a safe distance for some reason I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love the most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not, I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult. Even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera. With retro camera at my side. Oh, Max. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world. He's also my teacher and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's repairing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. See, that's a good teacher. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. And maybe invite her to tea or a movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. 
yeah, that thing with religion. Oh no. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. And I hate saying that, I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18 year olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure sh I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess these are the episodes. Happy very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Ah, oh, they gave her money! 921. Kate. Hey Max, you around? Always, you okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after 4. Talk to you later. Is that today? 9.25? Oh no, it's October. Or maybe that's just the last time she wrote in it. 9.21, happy birthday Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Oh mom. Oh lord. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please, make sure you check out Neck Romantic on my flash drive. <laughs> hey, Mad Max, let's bust it up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we were bust, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> this guy is a geek. Don't ignore this message. She hasn't even replied to him. Any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that oh, too easy? Back in the game. <laughs> too obvious? What, what if Arbus there? chose to capture people with the height? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Selfies. She could have, have taken another taken, approach. I have taken a selfie. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful this photographic a dumb tradition. Word. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains <laughs> that the portraiture <laughs> has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I forgot. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. <gasps> A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Who says sad face? Very good, Victoria. She's an idiot. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. 
Hey guys, and don't forget the deadline to like submit a photo in the Everyday so Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> I had a t teacher that used to do that. He'd like ask a question and then wait for someone to look at them. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Dang, that is expensive. Okay. Hey. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Oh. Hi, Kate. Oh. I don't want anybody Hi, to Max. Excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to you know seem that quiet this today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I, the camera, I, and... I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Oh Let's hang later. Sure. Okay. Studying, huh? This. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh, no, no, no. What point video? Kate. Huh, this might make a cool shot. What's it say? Hammer, love, what? <laughs> Tab, journal. Rachel, Amber, love forever. Ooh. What's all these? Pictures I can take, maybe? I don't know. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. It does look pretty. Leave them be. Ooh, Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Hm. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. <sighs> okay. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait old. for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Probably the person that kind of person that would. Oh, picture. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Mm, mysterious. I live. I wish I didn't live in a desert. I like to have. You can never stars. escape the lighthouse here. The lighthouse. Well, why not? What's so special about the lighthouse? So cool that we can check these out anytime. 
The okay. Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad Bresson. respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Okay, Good to see Avedon among the masters. Don't get on Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Let's go. You didn't tell me Man. how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you Welcome look to the real world. Just cute? Huh. Then I might send you a special picture. What you say? I might send you a special picture. I need a serious timeout in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Why do her eyes look so red? She's so fucking shy. Like there, it's okay. No one is far away. Her eyes just look weird. Ah, I just barely got to the intro. It's been 30 minutes. Gosh. It was all that reading. Like, I read so much. To all of you, I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. April 22nd. So stingy with my blood. Oh, donation. <laughs> Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. My locker? I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. I keep like. Yes, this I poster am. must stop bullies dead in their tracks. I cry sometimes. Walking around my own place. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Oh. Pants are so red, though. I don't know if she's mad I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Oh, look, bully. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Daniel, oh, Daniel. he's so nice. Whoa, whoa. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Yeah, come on, Logan. Mess me up. Mess you up. That dude's just a weirdo. We don't even know anything about him. I wish October would last forever. Oh, so it is October. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Why? Why would you just want sugar? <laughs> That's so messed up. 
I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Don't eat the PC, miss the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Watching the world from the bright side. For sale, PC laptop, fully loaded. Is that me? Good thing I left my AK at home. <laughs> yeah, seriously, who's gonna bring a gun to the school? American girls like Dolly. Recent tobacco product with smiles and plastic buddies. I wish I had. Oh. I was supposed to go to the bathroom, wasn't I? I just wanted to, like, look at everyone. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. He doesn't look like an ass. He's like a nice guy. Ah, oh, the principal's office. The principal doesn't come out of his office much. Oh, dang Rachel it, that's a poster. She's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Ooh, the science teacher. I cry sometimes walking around. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. She cries sometimes. Talking skater that her own place. Somewhere around the mouth. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. That's when I fly. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. <laughs> Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Or I just talking about otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Oh, that's why she's talking about audit. Sad, lonely, depressed, come praise with your peers. Bible study. Sundays at noon in the Arcadia Bay Library. All faith welcomes. Well, welcome. So be happy. <laughs> best singer ever in Oregon looking for best guitarist ever to form a kick-ass band to take over the world. <laughs> Wait, what did it say about Lady Gaga? You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird Too shit influences the oh. American girls yeah. it's sad to Imagine a world without you American girls I'd like to Be part of the world around you Driving a car by the seaside Watching the world from the bright side I had a friend show me how to play once She can go easy on me, she likes me Empty, good Nobody can see my meltdown Except for me. Oh, I hate public bathrooms. At my school, I would never go to a public bathroom. Unless I really, really had to. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Oh, Am I going crazy? Let's clean ourselves up. Is that gonna clean your eyes? It looks so weird. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh no. I didn't mean it looked bad when I said that about the symmetry. The when a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. 
Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Photo op. Where'd it come from? Butterfly. That camera. It's cool, Nathan. Doing? Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Oh, Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, shoot. He shoot. And he shot. <laughs> Whoa, uh, what? what the fuck? How, how can that be? Uh, I was in stuff. the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand and then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow, from color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit! Can you give me an example of a I do not believe this. Capture the human condition in black and white. Okay, That's if I'm crazy, guy. I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? No, crazy. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Whoa! Oh, she's yeah. Come back. Come back. Camera. I did now, it. Can you give I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Victoria, why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Sheesh. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When I took my selfie, Jefferson she asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. What happens if I Seriously, never take though, a selfie? I could frame any one of you in a dark corner Maybe that girl and capture that. you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. It'd be awkward to sit right in front of your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I save her? Literature has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Uh, we have to go. Same to go. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Uh, Is there anybody oh, here shit. Who knows their Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck oh, in the retro zone. Again. Sad face. Shut up. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind and again? Who's laughing? And give him the right answer. Find detail in people's faces, making okay. them extremely popular from the 1800s on. Let's do that. 
running, hold shift to rewind faster. Bro, Max, Hello, since great. you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Daguerre. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Yeah. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely <laughs> popular, up. mainly because it gave the subjects clear Why are you looking at features. Me? But you can learn more when you actually gotcha. finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Everyday Hero. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Come on. I don't that want anybody to girl. feel excluded from this process, but okay. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. Oh, I think I need to I talk have my to moment him. in the camera eye. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Oh, shut up. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. <laughs> It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Press control to quickly undo your previous action in the rewind. My moment in the camera eye, and everybody oh, should have totally. that chance. I only right. want to share whatever Apple gifts I have with the Excuse me. Okay. Never let one of photography's future stars. Of okay. Yeah. I'll I'm on read top your of mind, you. bro. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Oh, what a nice teacher. Alright, let's go be a hero. I'll be a hero. No, no, no. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Let's I can't go. tell anybody. They'll think I'm I crazy. Run. Oh, look at my girly run. Oh. Hey, let him go. Yo, Daniel. Oh, guy. You remember that it's payday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you didn't forget <laughs> Yeah, payday. You know I don't Bathroom. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Yeah. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Oh, no. Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for hey. this than drugs. No, he has a gun. I should do something Mr. else. <laughs> okay. Get that gun away from me, psycho. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. Oh my gosh! If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Okay. Oh, dang. Don't ever tell me what to do. I I'm need so a hammer to break it open. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than nope. drugs. Nobody would 
ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Take it. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Ah, uh, I need to rewind a little bit. Get that gun away from Hammer. me, psycho! Hammer! How long enough? And missed your punk ass, would they? Ah! No way! Don't Why ever touch me again, to break freak! It, like... Why do they make it so hard to pull a fire? Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Save her, bro. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Oh, she's here. Do not freak out. Let's go. No freaking. Hey, do you hear oh. that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Hey. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Punk. Back up. <laughs> Let's go! We're gonna die! That's Max. Hold on, Max. Come back here. Oh, man. I want to talk to the principal. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm cold. I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could that always all. be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, no. Oh, no. What should I do? Him. Yeah. I just Nathan. saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was hey, in the dude. bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I'm being sneaky, I have bro. the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. Oh, so it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. Yeah, because all the money in your face. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Fine. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No. Oh. Come here. My dams. Let's go. Oh, I've been streaming for, or playing for 53 minutes. I should probably cut it here. Huh. It does look nice. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Heh! <laughs> Go, Nathan. Where'd you go? Better hide that gun. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. Can I say you? Tap. I don't think I can. Oh, look. I have new pictures. I'll check them out next time. Oh, and I have a new journal entry.
Okay. Um, but yeah. I'll uh, continue playing this later. I hope you guys liked it. I know there was a ton of reading during the beginning, but I kind of just wanted to learn all like the backstory of the game before I started playing. Just so I knew what was going on. And I hope you were able to enjoy it. I know probably not funny at all, whatever. I'm just going to play my game and hope you guys enjoy it. So I'll catch you guys next time. I'll probably upload a video within a few days. I don't know. Got work to do and stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.